Hello everyone, Hugo from Ichiban Studio and today we're going to be pimping the Millennium Falcon. So here I have a before and after picture. I really wanted the Millennium Falcon to look gritty and that's what I went for. So here's how I did it. So the first thing is I took Artrax Herd Shade and I mixed it the one to one with water uh, just to make sure that my wash was not too strong because the Artrax Herd Shade wash is actually a pretty uh, intense wash so it will tint your color a lot. So by tin, uh, <clears throat> tint your color a lot. So by tinning, tinning, whoo, by using water and tinning, tinning, thinning it down. Ting, 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 ling, ling. Thing, tin. Ah, oh, I cannot do it. This is awful. By tinning your your wash down, yeah, the color is gonna be less strong and um, still gonna flow really well in the the cracks. Still gonna make the the model look gritty but it will not have a uh, as a strong effect if you would use it pure right off the the bottle so that's what i did i applied a wash everywhere on the model uh on the underside and everything and that's pretty much it let's watch that it's pretty interesting Once the wash was finished, that's when I took my trusty Soltar 2020 from Badger and I used um, Lagoon Blue to make a base coat on the reactor of the Falcon because, you know, Millennium Falcon is actually pretty, pretty famous for having really, really nice glowy blue, um, you know, reactor. So I went for that effect with the OSL. Uh, as you can see, I didn't use masking tape. I went freehand. I, I like to do that with my airbrush because I'm pretty pro efficient with it. But if you're uh, afraid of going too much overboard or have too much overspray, then you could mask use use masking tape to mask it, or you could use a uh, you know like thumbtack glue to uh, to actually mask the areas where you don't want uh, the blue to go. But if you're careful enough and if you're not using too high PSI, technically you should be all right. Now to make that sexy engine pop out in the middle, I tried to do a nice little white line using Skull White from Badger Minotaur range. And um, just to make the engine glow like uh, the Millennium Falcon is famous for. And I think I, I got it pretty pretty nice. So um, that's pretty much it. Soltar, really good airbrush and has a really uh, fine needle for that kind of work. Uh, maybe if I was using this the, the standard needle on a Badger 105, it would have been a little bit more difficult. But with the Soltar or a Chrome, which used the same, uh, a Renegade Chrome used the same needle, technically you should be fine with that. Once the OSL was done, I took my Games and Gear brush. Uh, number three right there and then I apply some uh, gloss varnish to make the whole thing pop tried to keep the gloss varnish in the middle strip but I, I went a little bit overboard but you know it gives it a, a nice little shine compared to the, the the rest of the model which is flat black and not flat black but flat colors uh, so that's pretty much it 
And to top it off, I took um, my Soltar 2020 again, and I used some Raven Black, uh, Minotaur Raven Black paint, and I went to do the, the, the kind of grimy streaks that it already has on the model on the back part. If it would have been me, I wouldn't have made it in those angles, because, you know, technically if the, 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 the Falcon is running forward, those streaks will not follow the, you know, the pattern that those exhaust or whatever have, but they were already there, so I just followed that pattern. And question of making <clears throat> model look a little bit more gritty, I went when there was those little holes and recessed and I just tinned them. I didn't went overboard with the black, I just tinned them out a little bit uh, with some black to just, you know, represent some soot, just because I felt like it, and that's pretty much it. I did it also on the on the array right there, the, the big radar array, and that's it. That's how I pimped out my uh, Fantasy Flight game, Millennium Falcon. And, uh, yep, so I hope you like it. You're going to see some pictures at the end. You're going to see some pictures at the end. And um, and also there's another video of how to pimp the Slave 1, and you're going to be able to, uh, to check those out if you click on it. So this was Yugo from Ichiban Studio. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe next time we're going to try to do an X-Wing or a Y-Wing. Or maybe an A-Wing. We'll see. So have a great day. See you later, guys.